Hey everybody, so recently I posted a picture to my Instagram of my framed necklace holder and a lot of people were wondering how I made it and where I got all of the pieces and if you guys were following my videos earlier in the year, you'll know that I actually made this frame a long time ago but I never hung it up because I didn't have the stuff to hang it up and I didn't really know how to hang it up. I know, I'm terrible. So I put it under my bed and I forgot about it. So I recently found it and I decided to go ahead and put it on my wall and it looks so nice. I'm so in love with it and I'm kind of mad at myself for not putting it up sooner. So I thought I would do a video showing it up close and explaining exactly how I made it so if you guys want to make one you can too. So I'm going to go ahead and take my camera over there to show you what it looks like on my wall. This is what it looks like. The frame itself is actually a bulletin board by Ballard Design so I will link it below if they still have this exact one in stock. But what I did is I actually covered the bulletin board part with leftover wallpaper. So this is the same wallpaper that is in my bedroom on my wallpaper panels behind my bed. I think the brand is Designers Guild. I know I had to have it imported from Europe. I was working with an interior decorator at the time, so she handled it for me. So I'll try to link it below, but I don't know how pricey it is to get it imported over here if you're not an interior decorator. And then these little guys are actually drawer pulls that I got from Anthropology. So I just went into an Anthropology and I picked a bunch that I thought would go really well together and go really well with my room and just kind of fit me. So the owl is my favorite. I think that is just so cute and it fits my personality. And then I also like the little clock. It's very Alice in Wonderland-esque. So if you wanted, you could actually just get a bunch of the same one if you like consistency. But for me, I really liked having the mixture of all of the different little dresser drawer pulls and they're holding a bunch of necklaces. These are the necklaces that I wear the most often so I like having them right here so I can find them quickly and they don't get tangled up and back in the bottom of a drawer in my jewelry armoire so this is just easier for me to have them here. And this is also some of my more delicate jewelry so I have my key here from Tiffany & Co that my dad got me and my little birds that I love. I just think these are so cute but this necklace was a little bit pricier so I like to have it you know out here where it's a little bit more organized and I won't lose it and I know where everything is and then this is my little rose gold Michael Kors necklace so I just have you know some of them are from Forever 21 some of them are a little bit pricier but these are the necklaces that I felt like looked really good on my necklace holder but also it's functional because it keeps certain necklaces from getting lost so that is how I made my necklace frame. I actually had help getting these guys on here. Um, I had someone actually drill it in, but you could just hot glue them if you used a strong enough glue. And the necklaces are not heavy, so that's the thing. You know, you don't need it to be like super, super stuck in there. You could just put a pretty fabric or some pretty paper on the back. It doesn't have to be um, wallpaper. It can just be, you know, pretty scrapbook paper or pictures or fabric or whatever you want, whatever you have laying around or whatever you can find that you think is pretty. You can paint the frame if you want and then you can hot glue the little drawer pulls on however you want. You can have as many as you want. And then you have a little do-it-yourself customized necklace frame that matches your room and looks really, really cute. And it's kind of like art at the same time. I know that sounds really weird, but I really like looking at it. And so in that sense, I feel like it's also like a piece of, you know, like something artsy on the wall as well so it kind of serves lots of purposes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like my little necklace rack and if you make any necklace racks like this then tweet me a picture or leave a comment below telling me how you guys like it I think it'd be really cool to see to get inspiration from how other people put things like this together because I might make another one because I really like it okay I'll see you guys later bye